Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a superhero review. We're going to be talking about Super today. So uh, we've just we just watched the film. I've seen it before. Chloe's, uh, Chloe's yeah. first time. Um, so we'll tell you a bit about it. What, did you, what are your first thoughts first of all? Did you enjoy uh, it? Uh, I think when it first started I thought it was quite funny. Because um, he's a bit of a moron. Mm. Um, the, yeah, it was just, it was quite comical. But then as the film went on, um, can I spoil it? Not? Yes, there's a lot of spoilers this review. So, go ahead. Okay. Um, he went less, less of being a kind of a moronic hero and more of a serial killer. Yeah. It's a, it's a funny film to describe really because it's, um, yes, you could say it's a superhero, but I guess its nearest film is, is Kick-Ass. Is the film you probably most most compare it to? Yeah. But I would say it's it's probably the most violent superhero film. I mean, it's it's not he's not really a superhero, but for the sake of this review, we'll call him a superhero. But I'd it say was quite graphic, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's probably the I can't think of another a, a more violent superhero film to be quite honest with you. Certainly, because the violence in here is, is is you know is quite brutal. It's fairly gory as well. I would say. It but it kind start of off like that yeah either. it's kind of it is a comedy film worse. as well this is the weird thing it's such a sort of a, a real a sort of mishmash of uh, of genres um if you've not seen it before basically the story is is very similar to kick house in a way it's about a guy played by rain wilson called frank and he is of one of life's losers he's kind of um never really had a break in life and has kind of been one of those people who have been sort of always on the sort of on the sort of uh, the downside and kind of, he seems to be quite a, a depressive type of person. And, well, quite frankly, I think he seems to be maybe ever screwed loose. A little bit. Yes. <laughs> even, before the, even before the whole, you know, the whole superhero thing, you know, it's kind of suggested that he's maybe not, maybe not, you know, um, playing on a full deck, so to speak. And, you know, he, he's pretty much only had one relationship in his, in his, in his life and, She's played by Liv Tyler, and um, she's a, rec a recovering drug addict or alcoholic or something, drug addict. And she ends up getting involved with a, a drug dealer played by Kevin Bacon, who you know is on full slime mode here, and sort of leaves him. And it basically sends him off the deep end. And he has a strange kind of vision because he's been watching this sort of like sort of Christian superhero. I love that TV guy. show. <laughs> the Christian superhero guy that made it for me. Yeah, it was, that was it was a good so scene. Um, and he he ends up deciding to just become a superhero, and uh, uh, you know, it, it's not just to take on um, Kevin Bacon's character, but to take on sort of just other other sort of like sort of low lifes as well. And for the course of the film, he ends up getting a a, a sidekick. Who is a girl who works in a comic shop, played by Ellen Page, who you may know as Kitty Pride in the X Men. I think she's quite cool. I liked her. I really liked her character. Yeah. Um, I, I thought she, she was, was a bit annoying though. Frank, Frank, <laughs> Frank, <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's um, and then they sort of, they, they gradually escalate, and it gets kind of more and more violent. And they have a, eventually have like a, a an assault on the sort of the uh, Kevin Bacon's kind of like mansion or whatever where he's doing a drug deal. Uh, and that's really the, the, the crap of the story, but it's obviously all these little sort of misadventures they have along the way. And, and as Chloe says, I, it does get sort of more violent. And at the end of it, I mean, he's he's basically, a, you know, he's not a punisher. He's like, you know, he's pretty, you know, badass and pretty much ends up killing like a whole house uh, full of bad guys and stuff like that. But um, he, the, the guy is clearly, you know, off his rocker and he, you know, the... I said no, there's no. there's some there's some quite violent scenes. One scene where there's a guy simply pushes in front of the line in the cinema, and he cracks him over the head with um, like a wrench, and splits his splits his skull, and it's maybe splits his face in half. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty it's pretty, pretty harsh. Um, but it you gets, know that's when the gruesome bit starts, isn't it? It gets yeah. worse from like there on. Yeah, it's so it, this. I mean, despite the, the fact that it's a superhero film and it's called Super, and it's a colourful costume. Be under no illusion, this film is not for kids at all. Um, and, and if you like Kick Ass, this this really does go one step further than further than from that film. No, I, that said, I, I did quite like I quite liked it because it's such a it's such a kind of a different take. And you know, I, I would say it's quite a depressing film, to be honest. 
Yeah. Even though it is a comedy, and it's, it's, this is what I mean, it's a hard film to really quantify, because it does have some funny bits in it, but you do feel the guy is, is, a, is you know, he never really comes out on top, does he, really? Uh, and you feel, you yeah. know, even at the end, he, he really... He it's a bit of it's a bittersweet. Over. It's a bittersweet ending, and you know, it is still quite bad. You, you think the guy is just you know sitting on the, sitting on the end and uh, with a rabbit, and you know looking at what could have been and stuff like that. And uh, he's not looking at what could have been. He looks at like his life so far. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's it's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of sad. It is it is sad. Like you know, you can't help but feel a bit, sort of a bit sorry for his character. I think, um, but you know, he he has you know he has an arc, and he, he basically becomes. Uh, the, the, this, this vigilante, um, and there are some sort of funny scenes when he first tried to, you know, he's trying to fight crime and stuff. And doesn't end up working. He just gets his ass kicked, basically. Mm. You know, very much like for Kick Ass. I'm not sure if this film. I think it came out after Kick Ass actually, so I'm not sure how much influence that actually had. Because I didn't think it was that far after, to be honest. It, it so, was. It was sort of a different take on Kick Ass, I think. Mm. And it, it started off funnier, I thought. And halfway through, I was thinking, actually, I prefer this to Kick Ass because it's it's kind of got a funnier turn on it. But then it kind of went a bit more serial killerish and yeah. not so much hero. So yeah, it's it's certainly not your typical hero's hero's journey. Yeah. Um, you know, he he is a psychopath, really. He is, and, and so is his his the, the the girl as well. She's just. I this... don't know how he didn't get arrested. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there is the, okay. I mean. He's you not. Could, he's not very um, secretive, is no. he? No, I mean he literally just, he's just driving about in his car. But you know, I don't think maybe you're not supposed to take it, you know, especially seriously. But um, but then again, you say that, I mean, but it's kind of like what if someone actually, you know, did dress up as a superhero and and did these things? They would get arrested. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the the, the police seem fairly incompetent in this, to be honest. Not that you know, with the comedy film, even though this is like the blackest of comedy you can get. I sometimes think you're looking at kind of like meta reality, so to speak, where the sort of police are, and I never really yeah. all, all that sort of competent and stuff like that. But you know, they go to that one guy's house and beat him up, don't they? And yeah. The whole time she's going, Frank, Frank, that's the guy, that's the guy, Frank, instead of just using his yeah. superhero name. So just giving it away. And what was it when uh, when they were queuing up and that guy jumped in the queue and he went into his car across the road to mm. get changed into a superhero costume. Which everyone saw him do, it's like, it just doesn't really make much sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that. it's, you know, it's a, it's, just, it's, it's like, what if a, a super, you know, in real life someone did that, but then again, obviously, you, you kind of, obviously, it, it is a tongue in cheek film. So you kind of, you know, again, same with Kick Ass as well. I mean, that, you know, the whole premise of that was, what if someone did this for real life? But it, the idea might have been there, but it's, that isn't real life either, you know. But anyway, so... Because it's always the weedy ones that can't fight that decide to be superheroes. Yeah. And to be fair, I mean, I don't think he, he, he particularly... I mean, apart from the end scene, where he, seemed to, he did seem to be a little bit invincible, I mean, he, he was quite clumsy and, and sort of really was lucky a lot of it. I mean, there's one scene where he literally just drops a cinder block on someone, on just on their oh, head. That was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> And stuff like that. So he it certainly isn't very graceful. He, he basically batters people and they're kind of like really not expecting it. So um, He's not very camouflage either. I love the scene where he's like running and trying to hide behind the trees in yeah. a bright red uniform. Yeah. And it has, it's, it's got some funny moments in it. And you're kind of chuckling to yourself. And I, I did like the, the, the main guy, Rain, Rain Wilson. I mean, I think he's done a lot of TV. I, mean, I, I believe he's in The Office, in the US version. I'm like, I don't watch that, so... Um, you know, I don't know what he's like in that, but I, I quite I found him quite an, an amusing character, and I quite liked um, some of his lines. And he has this kind of like um, relationship with uh, with uh, the Bolty, the his sort of kid sidekick, which I found quite interesting because um, I swear she was eleven. There was no way she was twenty-two. She does look very young. Yeah, they made the point of saying she was twenty-two. I think for that very reason. Yeah, um, she's not twenty-two. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, he's almost because she's she's quite sort of sexually aggressive towards him. Um, a bit. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think it's good that he you know for, for it is actually the woman or well, the female character being more the sort of the aggressive. You know, because in so many films yeah. you see, you, see, you know, you normally it's the other see way around, you know the guy chasing the girl and the sort of you know the 
the, the woman sort of resisting come on this time, you know, I mean, she literally pretty much rapes him. Um, I mean, he could be kind of used up at the end, maybe, but, you know, it, it's an interesting sort of spin on them, I thought, and um, I, I loved Ellen Payne. I thought she was great. And she, did, were you, this is going to be a massive spoiler if you haven't seen it, so I'm warning you now. What did you think of her exit? Were you expecting that? No, I wasn't. Um, it was quite sad. Mm. But I thought it was quite good. Because I thought what that demonstrated was like, you know, as fun, as fun as that looks to be, I think that's what would happen. And, and you know, yeah. realistically, and then, you would get shot in the head. You would get shot in the head. And, <laughs> um, you know, as much as the sort of, you know, it's, it's kind of happened to have these like superhero fantasies or whatever, that's ultimately probably what would happen if you did that sort of thing. You would just get, you know, you'd literally have blood off. And that actually is, you know, that's yeah. what happened. And realistically, it would have happened like a lot earlier on. Yeah. And they were just terrible shots. There was like nothing to shoot apart from apart from the superhero guy, and mm. they managed to shoot everything else apart from him. It was a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think maybe it's quite the, funny, at the end of it, maybe it goes into sort of more of a traditional action film. That last sort of scene where they, the last scene where they, where they attack the um, Kevin Bacon's kind of like um, hideout. I thought that they, it kind of went into more of a typical action film. Um, but and prior, the, the middle section was kind of uh, very, very dark drama where he's kind of having, they're both having these like really real sort of psychotic and the, like you said in the initial it was probably more of a comedy. So, you know, it's, it's a real melting pot of, 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 of different things to, to make a quite a unique film, I think. Um, you know, like it's, it's, this, this is going to be one of those things, it's certainly not going to be for everyone. I, I actually quite liked it. And I'm, you know, I've seen it before, and I, I wasn't sure what, what, you know, what obviously Chloe here would think. Like, I mean, so I haven't discussed it, so she hasn't told me her, her opinion on it yet, and we'll, we'll get that in just a second. <laughs> um, I did quite like it. I mean, there's a, I mean, I'm a, I'm a superhero fan, uh, and, I, and I thought this was kind of a, you know, a different take on it. And I, you know, I kind of enjoyed, enjoyed it for what it was, obviously. And I think it's quite good to sort of um, to have a different style on this one. Um, I did like. I thought the actors were brilliant. I, I mean, I like. I like Kevin Bacon. And I thought he was great. Really, like, really being that like, mega slimy. He's annoying. Kind of like bad guy. Um, I like Devin Page in it. And maybe Liv Tyler. What do you think of her? I think she was my favourite. Mm. I always think she kind of plays the sort of same sort of character almost, a bit kind of like, you know, <laughs> you know that sort of thing. But, yeah, um, that might be why I like her. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so out of ten, what would you say? What would you give it out of ten? Mm. As a as a whole film, I'd probably give it an eight. Yeah, I I, I was going to say an eight myself as well. So there you go, an eight. Yeah, eight I, I, I did like it. I did like it. It does play on all your emotions, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's yeah. There's there's all sorts of you, you get a lot from it. I think. I mean, you know, certainly don't watch it if you're uh, you Swedish. know young. Um, or young. <laughs> or don't don't get any illusions. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is a superhero film. I shouldn't be kids this because honestly, it is. <laughs> and there's obviously uh, sex, violence, and swearing everything in there. It's not the whole lot. But you know, if you kind of like your indie film, it's very much like an indie film um, slash superhero film. I mean, that's that's the best thing, the description I'll give it. Eight out of ten. Then all right. Well, leave us a comment. Let you know what you think, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Just watching. Bye.